in this video I'm demonstrating how to import your animations when all of the animations in your asset are actually in one uh, continuous timeline in Max. And uh, I don't know if this is as important with other engines, but for the Unreal Engine, I've discovered that to import animations when they're all in one track can be rather hard with FBX. FBX um, 3ds Max exporting of animations with FBX seems to only support one track, and uh, that means if you have all the if you were provided an asset where all of the animations are in one continuous timeline, you have to manually split them, and that could take a lot of time. Fortunately, there's a tool to make this easier for you. <laughs> so this is just showing that all the animations are working, and uh, there are in fact 48 of them total, and um, so I'm going to show you the process from scratch to get you started. So, uh, so this is in Unreal when you're done. So we're actually going to start a new anim set. Call this video. And then, so we need some animations. We don't have any. <laughs> so to get them in, uh, in 3ds Max, first of all, you have to download the plugin. Plugins here, Gildor's uh, homepage, and then it's this one, uh, this last one for uh, 2013. Uh, he actually rewrote the code himself to work with the, the newer version of 3ds Max, which uses some kind of different un underlying uh, script system. So he actually did an incredible amount of work. You should many thanks to Gildor for doing this uh, to actually continue providing support for After X. And um, then in 3ds Max, when you open your asset file, you oh, skipped a step. So after you download the plugin, then you need to go into your hard drive, and you need to put the DLU file right in here. And all the older DLUs for 2013, 2011, and 2010 are actually located in the binaries directory of your UDK install. They actually have it in the in here. See Actor X. They actually have all the previous versions that come right with uh, the UDK. It's right. They're all right here. Unfortunately, that wasn't the version we needed because <laughs> I'm using well, I'm using 2013 3ds Max, so I needed this the newer version that only Gildor continues to provide support for. So that's the file. You just stick it in here, and then you open Max. When you open Max, here you are. And then you want to go to Tools, the hammer thing, the very last icon, and click More. And then you load Actor X. And it loads. And then you have to choose an output folder. So we're going to use the same one that we used before. Uh, I'll just say yeah, if the X files, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I'm use that as my path. You have to specify this so you, your file won't know where to go. You can skip the mesh name, you don't need to worry about that if you're just exporting animations. Type in a name for your animations, and then you have to figure out the key, the animation range, because remember, all these animations are in one single timeline, so you have to, this is a lot, right? So you need to specify where you want each of these things to be. So you need to figure out your asset. You, you need to be provided those keyframes or you need to figure them out. Fortunately I was I was given the file in the download and that file is here. So now I have I was given by the artist all the animation frames. So we're gonna start with walk. So you just highlight if you know the animation range, give it a, type in a name, and then you have to say digest. You can digest as many as you want before saving the file, so we'll do two. Walk with, let's do run. So, run, then digest. And clicking that digest animation button, then you have to go to the animation manager, and you have to select the animations, move them to the output package. Notice they have funny characters, doesn't matter, look at the group name, it'll actually tell you. Um, well, it does when they before they're moved over, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll move it back. See, it says run by the group name. That's how you know. So they're both in the output package. Then you have to save the output package, and it was saved. Yay! 
Then, you notice it's a PSA file. You have to go into UDK to say import PSA. You have to find the thing using your warrior. FBX PSA. Okay, look, they both imported. Yay! We don't really have a mesh though, so let's pick a mesh. Uh, so, if you, if you can't find your mesh, then select your mesh and then use the green button. And then now, the new animations got imported. Let's test it out. Look, it works! Yay! <laughs> so now we need to do more, right? So it's the same process. You just click on your file. Let's say you left for a while and then you came back to this effort. Then you select your new animation sequences. This is jump. And then you say digest. And then let's do one more just for clarity. Let's use attack one. <coughs> attack one and then digest you can in the animation manager you can open an existing file you can pick the PSA right so now it's loaded these two in the output directory we created two more over here jump and attack and always move don't copy otherwise things get complicated later then we move them over and then we just hit save so the file was written go back into the UDK go to our, our our temporary anim thing. Now we have to import again. Import, yes to all, doesn't matter if they're overwritten. Now we have four, and we have jump. Yay! <laughs> and we have this other one, no, that one. Yay, so that is the process. Then you just do this for all 48, and you're done. And then you end up with uh, this result, which is Everything is happy. <laughs> All is happy. Look at that. It's just so good. So, um, that is the entire process. Enjoy!